Hello everybody. Welcome back to Art by the Lake. Last week we did a hurricane inspired swirl pour. Um, and if you remember or you want to look back on our YouTube channel, uh, it came out really nice. And then it sort of drifted and got very dark. I'll hold it up here and you can kind of see how much it changed. Um, so it became sort of a very dark kind of hurricane inspired painting. So I decided today that we would come back and we would do a lighter colored hurricane inspired swirl painting. As you can see here we have about nine colors down the side including this white that I mixed up. Uh, these colors are our normal paint mixture. I've created most of the colors. A few of them are straight up but it is two parts Floetrol, one part paint and one part distilled water. I've got our big cup here. We're going to uh, use that to swirl. It's our big heavy Pyrex glass. I've got the white here. So I'm going to knock in the four corners and then we'll mix our swirl pour and then we'll, uh, we'll feed it a little white to get it going. And this one I'd really like to try to keep it on the canvas if that makes any sense. Last week it kind of blew off the edges a little bit more than I wanted to. So we're going to try to keep it on the canvas itself and not have it have it wash out. I'd like to keep it more hurricane-like. So without any further ado, let's knock in some corners here. And I do this just because it's hard to get the paint to get into the corners itself. So let's do that. And then remember when I pour in here, the color that I pour in first will be the color that comes out last. So that means whatever you want to remain in sort of the center area of the canvas is what you want to pour in first. So I'm actually going to feed this a little bit of white to start with. And then I'm just going down my colors here. I have sort of a, a neon pink that I like a lot and that really pops in a lot of my paintings. So we're going to pretty much do home runs here. The neon pink has just a drop of silicone in it. The other colors have coconut milk serum in it and it, the number of drops is dependent upon the quantity of the paint. So there's a lot of this red so I have quite a bit in this red and you'll see in the colors that I've made smaller quantities of uh, I've used much less coconut milk serum. I'm going to set aside some of that red. It seems like I have an awful lot of that so I may bring that back, but the rest of the colors I think will be a home run. In other words, I'm not setting much aside. Now we'll see if I can keep this in the center of the canvas. It's always a bit of a crapshoot because it's hard to estimate exactly how much paint it will take to sort of fill the canvas without coming up short or without making too much. I don't really, I like to pour paint. I don't like to buy paint. So I'm trying not to waste too much. And yes, there's a big splotch of green right here. That's fine. That will be long gone in the end. So we're getting through our yellow, our neon green, our regular green, And these colors are sort of a hurricane Doppler radar inspired. If you've ever looked at the Doppler radar, radar signature of a hurricane, um, you'll, you'll see these colors. So we're on sort of our middle of the road blue. And then to pay tribute to last week's pour, we saved some of this funky purple that I created. And we're just going to lay that down here. That will go out first and work its way out toward the edges of the painting. So there's our, our swirl cup. I always like to fire a little bit of the background color down the center. In this case, we're trying to brighten it up. So instead of using black, I'm using white. And then I'm going to switch hands here because I'm right handed. And we're going to try to start a very gentle 
swirl pour here. And you can see I'm already struggling to get the colors to come out in the order that I wanted them in, but. We're going to go very slow with this one. If you like what you're doing, or like what we're doing, either or, uh, you want to do this on your own, you can find more of our videos on YouTube at Art by the Lake. If you like what you see, follow us. We also sell many of these paintings. And you can find us mostly on eBay at Art by the Lake with a few of them on Etsy, also at Art by the Lake. We don't see the, the amount of traffic on Etsy that we do on eBay, so I like to keep them predominantly on eBay, just because many, many, many more people get to see them and hopefully buy them. We are also can be reached at artbythelake at gmail.com. If you want to ask us any questions, please comment on our videos. I always enjoy the comments. I always try to reply back to all of the comments. If you have questions, always happy to answer them if I can. So as you can see, this is going a little bit slowly. That's what we want. We're getting down now. Look at the, we used almost none of that hot pink, but that hot pink is just amped right up in this painting so far. The neons really dominate. And this is the goal here. The goal is to keep all this paint on the canvas. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to accomplish that. If I put white out there now, it will grab the white and run off the canvas. So I don't really want to put white out there if I can avoid it. I'm going to move some of that corner white around, but, and I may put just a little bit of white in the middle of this one. You can see that white that we put in there early on is now finally last to come out. Here it comes. And that represents the eye of our hurricane. Uh, this is a Hurricane Florence and Hurricane Michael inspired piece. If you missed last week's video, uh, my family was actually evacuated from vacation out of North Carolina because of Hurricane Florence. So I felt a little bit ins of inspiration by Hurricane Florence, about Hurricane Florence. And I thought about this one while I was driving back and forth to North Carolina. Yeah, so that, that little green spot there did become a problem, didn't it? It's okay, we can fix anything, right? Need to get some white around the edges. Anyway, I'm worried about that edge right there. I don't want that to catch because if that catches, the whole painting will run off that end. Mm -hmm. So I may just Leave this as is. It's flirting down here, you can see. It's really flirting up here. I don't want to stretch it too, too much or as much as possible. I want to avoid that. So this is a brighter hurricane inspired painting. I'm going to stop the video. We're not doing time lapse or time lapse camera. Uh, jumped the shark, so to speak. It died. Um, and as much as we're sad to see that go, uh, it makes the video process a little bit easier. So please check us out and follow us, subscribe to us on YouTube. You can find us on eBay and Etsy at Art by the Lake, and you can email us artbythelake at gmail.com. This is hurricane inspired, brighter colors. Keep your eye on that edge. I'll do some post photos. If this stuff drifts, um, you know, we'll lose a lot of this green, but uh, hopefully it hangs in there. And thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.